But all of that to say, today we're going to talk about sequels and how sometimes sequels do a fantastic job and other times they fall short. They try to live up to the original and they, well, they fall flat in some cases. Well, I think for me, the key thing with sequels as far as their success goes is having a plan. Um, mm -hmm. the, I think a lot of times the sequels that fall flat are sequels that were, um, not, <laughs> not originally, um, you know, part of the, uh, planning because they wanted to see how the first one went before committing to another film. And I can see the wisdom in that, but uh, you look at things like trilogies or um, the Marvels like planned out for the next 50 years kind of thing, um, where sure. they have a roadmap for their story so that they're not just trying to pick up the pieces of the previous film and just create a sequel because it'll make more money and said they have a story that they actually were planning to lead into. Um, that's why I like things like trilogies and some of my favorite sequels are from trilogies like, you know, with Lord of the Rings and <laughs> Star Wars being prime examples, of course, but um, you made a great point about the, the Batman trilogy with the Dark Knight. That, that one was super solid as yeah. well. Going back to Star Wars, I think Star Wars has a mixed bag as far as the second movie in trilogies. Um, for the longest time, Empire Strikes Back was my favorite Star Wars movie. I thought it was a fantastic sequel. Um, I know there's a lot of people who disagree. Um, I liked the darker tone, the 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 fact that, I mean, the, the episode four was a new hope and everything was like bright and vibrant and everything's going good. And then Empire Strikes Back reminds you, hey, this is a war, people are dying. And, and you're fighting like this evil, you know, force. Um, and the heroes don't do well by the end of it. Um, it's another reason why I like Infinity War. I like it when the bad guys win to start, just a little bit. Uh, and so Empire Strikes Back was great. Don't ask me how I feel about Attack of the Clones. How do you feel about Attack of the Clones, John? <laughs> it's the worst Star Wars movie. <laughs> it's the worst of all of them. And I'll still watch it and I'll still be like, okay, I watched it, you know. Um, but it's the worst in my opinion. Well, and, and I'm, um, I, I think there's different things that we go through in life. Um, and if we stay the same, we get stagnant. Um, we don't see personal growth. We can't even get depressed or just feel like we are stuck in a place. Um, I, I think like good sequels though, we want to see personal growth in life. We want to see how things can change over time and, and how things can even get better and we can learn from the past. And so um, I think that's kind of where we were thinking. Uh, I think a good sequel again expands what the first did, but it's still connected in some way. And I think for us individually, I think it's important for us to always have this personal growth. Um, but still be connected to our story and, and what we've gone through in the past. So. And it's like, okay, well, think? many times we forget that we already know the end of the story. And mm -hmm. <laughs> God, has, God has already won. He, he already wants you to, to he, he basically wants to give you everything, right? So we forget sometimes that and we get stuck in the present in that first movie. And it's like, oh man, I don't know how I'm gonna get to the other one. And then we start dreading the sequel. And it's like, I don't wanna go through that phase. And I'm talking about that, I was remembering the, um, the verse that you said in First Corinthians is like, hey, well, when I was a child, but now that I'm a man, right? But we dread that teenager phase <laughs> going from, from a child to a man, that sequel, that, that middle part that nobody likes, right? Everybody's like, oh, a little baby. And then it's like, okay, well, now you're a man, you just go away. But what about the teenager phase that it's still, yeah. maybe it's not the favorite for everybody. And I'm talking about growth in every single area in your job. I'm talking about your personal growth. And of course, more importantly, your relationship with God. There's also this like, uh, child phase where everything is just wonderful then there's this teenager phase where you don't know what's going on there, there, there then there's this adult phase this uh, third part of the of the movie whatever it is where you 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 kind of understand you start going and you you express things better and you can even impart it to others right you start like reproducing yourself in a sense right but yeah. then we dread that part of growth that part of teenager years where where your mind is getting transformed even in a, a, a uh, faster rate than usually it would happen right and it's it's a it's a place where it's like okay we're well, going here going there going everywhere where you don't understand but that it's so important still for growth that we just don't want to have it 
but it's still there and it's still so wonderful and if we're still